Hi all, I'm going to do um, a Ken Capsi inspired Tallywhacker fly. Um, please don't go and Google that, it's not good. Um, so what I've done is I've started um, here by simply laying down a bit of normal red thread on there. Um, the hook is a Gamagatsu SL12 and 60 Usually Ken ties these on all of his pike and musky and I do as well. In fact there's one that I tied yesterday on a on an Orvis hook. The reason I'm tying this on this is because I've run out of Orvis hooks so makes no difference. Just do this one a little bit smaller. Uh, the Tallywhacker is a brilliant fly, it's very mobile, um, lots of life, lots of action in it. Pike love them. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, some Gliss and Glint um, and like a Chartres colour. Nice flash for it. Although this is mostly a natural fly, that's quite nice to, to have under there. And you'll see why in a sec. So, first things first. Just tie that in. Quite plain, simple wraps around just to hold it and that's that now there's a bit come off there and I've brushed it so we'll put that on and twist it a little bit twisting it I find helps to kind of shape it and it keeps that shape it's really quite a cool little trick okay so what I'm going to do now is Deer Creek Diamond Hard Varnish Protect Against Teeth and I'm going to bring that all the way up any loose bits there we go okay the next step to this um, we're going to put in some uh, White and Farm Bugger Cape Feathers. This one I'm doing is going to be like a more of a perch pattern. Okay, so what we do is we'll take four of the longest feathers on there and just pull them out. A lot of people will actually trim that bit off, but I'm not doing that. Just placing it on. It's not trout we're fishing for here. You can be a bit uncouth with this. Okay, one on that side. One on this side. Now you see that Charteris Gloss and Glimp Plus in there. What that's done, it's created a, a little bit of body under there as well as flash for these feathers to lie on. So we just chuck them on. Pretty much like this. Now I'm going to do this video in two parts um, because of time restraints and stuff on YouTube I think I can only do a 15 minute video or something so I don't really want to rush it okay so I think just another couple of feathers on that All the way back to the hook eye and back down to your starting point just there okay now what we're going to do with that now is coat that again with the varnish I do this on every step um, it just holds everything together and it also kind of tooth proofs it a bit to get more hours out of your fly okay. that's looking good so what I'm going to do now I'm going to a little bit of orange in here so I'm going to take a little bit of again orange plus and glint plus not a huge amount just about that which is about four inches 
Okay. Do with that is tie that in underneath, just like this. Okay. And then bring it underneath, split it between the hook, just ease it under, hold. Okay, now that's that bit dealt with. Now what we're going to do is um, tie the the buck tail in. Okay, so we do this hollow tie style. So what we're going to do is select your buck tail. This does take a little bit of time, which is why it's going to be a two-part video, I think. Okay, so your first piece underneath a couple of loose ties like this. A second piece. These also aren't very thick pieces as you can see. So the second piece. This side. Third piece. On the other side. Okay, and for your back piece, just try and find the longest bit you can. Like that. You can see that's going to flare up in a minute. Okay. What I'm going to do now is add some uh, black spectrum flash. This is um, from Pipe Trick. Um, quite a nice shiny mobile material. So we're going to tie a bit of that in. So just grab a good length for that. Okay, that's around. It's going to be around seven inches. I actually have a ruler here, by the way. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is lay that on the back, so that'll do fine. So that follows the length of the feathers at the back and you have a shorter piece there which will create a step, kind of a baitfish profile kind of look. So what to do now is drop some varnish in there. The other thing I like about this Deer Creek stuff, you get this lovely little applicator as well. Okay, that's it. Now, here comes the good bit. So what we need to do is we need to push all that back, as you can see, like this. So that's hollow tie style like that. What I tend to do, because it's quite bulky, is I tend to push it back and hold everything there. What you want to do now is build up a little dam there. This was a, a method I got from um, Brad Bowen's hang time musky fly. Um, go and google it, that's a really cool fly to make. But what he does, he um, builds up like a, a dam, a thread there. And what that does, it holds that back So just keep building up. It does take a while to do this. This is why this is a two-part video. Um, if I'm using the Orvis 6.0 hooks, 
I'll find that this will be maybe three or four times I'll need to do this like this. Okay, just let it go every now and again. Just to see how it's stacking. There you go, that's looking pretty good. Okay. Looking good. Okay. Now what I need to do is again varnish that. It's going to make that rock solid. Okay. Now if I was using um, an Orvis 60 like a long shanked hook, this process I would do it maybe another three times along the shank of the hook um, but because I'm using a short shank hook I only need to do this once on here right so what I'm going to do is grab a marabou feather chop the bottom off okay let me place that in Again with the varnish, secures everything down. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do is palm of the marabou feather around. You don't have to use a black one with this fly. You can use pretty much any color combo you like, really. What this marabou feather does, when this is in the water, when you stop the fly, it will make it pulse at the front. I'm pretty sure that if you've got a, fly, um, a fish following this, it's that stop and pulse. And then just as you start to retrieve, you get the hit. Now I'm pretty sure, that it's not scientifically proven or anything, that that pulse is just that key that flicks that switch in a pike's head that makes it go bump. Don't know, might be wrong, I don't know, but that's what I think. So what I'm going to do now, that's a marabou feather in. Can you see? Pulsing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just build up a head. Again, this is what takes the time, is just doing these. There's no quick way. Get a nice head built up there, that's it. Okay. Okay, there's one not holding it, so I'm just going to clip that, and what I'm going to do.